G'day, my name's Aaron Kemp from TLF Seeds. I'm at our Armadale research site uh, looking at some annual Italian and hybrid rye grasses. I'm um, just going to show you a couple of differences between some of the new varieties on the market. This is Mac 1 annual rye grass. Tetraploid, it's doing exactly what a tetraploid annual should do. Great big shiny leaf, it's about ready for its first grazing. Leap down the ground, this can provide good quality feed right through the winter. This is a high quality annual rye grass and a top shelf variety. Next to it, next to it is a plant that the Kiwis are calling the beast. This is Manta, which is a diploid Italian rye grasses. Traditionally, an Italian rye grass has no right to keep up with an annual off the mark, and this is keeping toe with the Mac 1 next door. Italians shouldn't do that, let alone keep up with a really good Italian like Mac 1. Manta is the future of Italian rye grasses. This is a really dense plant. It's densely tillered, produces a huge amount of bulk. It's going to provide feed well into the spring like an Italian should. In some environments in Australia, we'll get two years out of it. Um, we've certainly done that here in Armadale. I've got a paddock down the back. It's just had been snotted by sheep, or I'd show you that one. Um, but this is an absolutely outstanding plant, and it's a step above where Italians have been in the past. This is an Italian that you can plant anywhere where you normally use an annual, and you won't be disappointed. Um, gets up and going, and it's going to yield right through the spring into summer, and in the right environment, two years. As a really unfair comparison, next to the beast that is Manta, it's another really cool grass, and, and looks a bit poor by comparison. This is Mohaka. Mohaka is a tetraploid hybrid rye grass. So this is a cross between an Italian and a perennial rye grass. In the New England here, this will do three to four years quite comfortably. Uh, in most places where perennial rye grasses survive well, this will do, do four years. In reality, the best years are in its first three. What is cool about this grass is going forward, this is gonna be a really good alternative to perennial rye grass in perennial rye grass environments because this really rips out of the ground as well. Obviously not as not as quick as what the Manta is or the Mac 1, but this is a hybrid. It's a different, it does a different job. If you want a bit of perenniality, um, you know, two to three years, three to four years out of your ryegrass, Mohaka with AR37 Endophyte is well worth a look. Um, it's a really good plant. It's nice and dense. Up here in the New England, it maintains its stand integrity really well. We've got paddocks of this that are four years old and look as good as what they have when they were sown. So really cool comparison comparing the different grass styles. Um, Mac 1's been around for a while and is an outstanding grass. Um, the Manta next to it is an absolute beast and I encourage everyone using annual rye grass to have a really good look at that. There's some money to be made in that grass. And then if you're looking at a perennial or extended life out of your rye grass, your Italian, have a look at Mohaka. This grass is really, really cool. I'm just going to roll around the mantra a little bit. So if you want any more advice, just contact your local DLF sales agronomist.